Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehino with Miss Dehino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to be bringing you mission number three. It's going to be called Under or Over. It's basically, again, with our theme of toilet paper. For those of you that have not been watching this, you guys got to get in on this. I'm going to send you both links to mission one and two at the end of this video. But anyway, mission three is going to be either called Under or Over. I, I, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I hate it when the toilet paper goes under where you have to reach behind it. It needs to roll over. I know there's been debate over where how to put it and what's the proper way. I'm with you guys if you think that over is the correct way. But anyway, let me get to the mission and how you get your points, okay? So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, you guys have been doing a great job of hitting the description and basically printing the mission map papers. Um, hopefully the links have been working well for you. But here is going to be Mission 3's mat. This is going to be a page 1. So notice there's a circle in here and there's numbers that go around the circle. Keep in mind the arrows showing you which way the dial is supposed to turn. So that's going to be page 1 and this is going to be page 2. Same circle, but if you notice the arrows go the other way. Okay? So if you're going to participate, make sure you hit up the description and be able to print those two pages out. Let's go ahead and go to the mission models. Okay, for the under or over mission here, you're just going to need these pieces for the mission model. So you're going to need two 15s, two 11s, two gray bushings, and two of those long gray nails. Let's go ahead and show you how to put it together. Okay, getting this put together is going to be pretty easy. Just take one of the nails and put it up. And then we're going to slide it right through the middle. And then we're going to take the white beam here, and we're just going to put it into the fourth hole like that. And that's it. And then we'll just put this gray bushing on top of the nail just to secure that part down. So... And then you can go ahead and attach this to the mission mat or the paper. You can put some tape on the bottom of the gray piece here. So one more time, let's do that one more time for you guys. Put the gray piece standing up, put this 11 right through the middle, put this white beam here, attach it into the fourth hole like that. And we'll just put the gray bushing right on top. There you go. Okay guys, so you have your papers, you have your mission models, Let's go ahead and go to the setup of Mission 3, under or over. Okay, everybody, here's the setup for Mission number 3, under or over. Um, there is base. I will leave you the link for base. For those of you that have not been with us, I'll leave you the link for Costco. And remember, the space in between needs to be at least 12 inches. If you just make it a ruler length, that's fine. And the length is going to be the same for page one. Make sure you put page one first. And that is going to be your setup for the mission model. That gray nail goes right in the middle. Make sure page two is again 12 inches from page one. And there's the setup for that mission model. So it's the same as page one except you notice the white beam goes the opposite way. So let's go ahead and tell you how you get this mission done. Okay, so you guys, like I said, feel free to tape this uh, gray beam down to the paper because you don't want it to, if your robot hits this, you don't want it to be falling over like that. So by all means, tape this. Do you see what I'm talking about? Okay, so do you see how that 
if you tape that down, that should be fine. Okay, so what I want you to do is keep in mind of the arrows. Your robot, again, from base, yeah, that's my foot, from base is going to have to turn. Ah, do you see how I should have taped this gray beam down? Big fail, Mr. Hino. But your robot's going to have to turn this white beam. You know what? I'm going to go get some tape. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I'm back. They are taped down now. Both of them. Okay, so again, watch the arrows here. Your robot must turn this dial this way. And wherever the white beam ends up is how many points you're going to get for this mission. So if you want the 30, your robot's going to have to push it all the way into the 30 pie here. Okay, now once you're finished with this, here is one of the rules for this mission. You may not return to base unless you're finished getting all your points. So if you only want to do this first paper, then you can head back over to base to get your 20 points for, you know, returning back to base. And you'll only need to touch base with a wheel, with a ball bearing, something. So if you only want to do one pie, you can stop. If your robot just stopped here, you would get the 24 points. And if you didn't return to base, you would just keep your 24 points. Remember, like every first LEGO League mission model, you can't be touching this. Your robot can't be touching it. So if you have something on your robot that's here, you need to back up a little bit so you're not touching this mission model. If you're going to go to the second paper, notice the way the arrows are going. Your robot needs to turn the dial this way now to get your points. So let's say you're going to do, let me back up here. Let's say you're going to do both papers. So if your robot's here and it, you know, it's facing forward here and pushes it here, your robot needs to somehow get over here, but turn the dial this way. Okay. Now, does your robot have to, you know, push it this way? No, your robot could actually, you know, pull it back, but the white beam must rotate this way. So you cannot do one mission. You can't do this paper and go back to base and then go back, you know, come back to this paper after going back to base. You must do, if you're going to do both papers, you must do both papers at the same time. So that is going to be the Hino Lego League rule there. If you're just going to do this one paper, that's fine. You can head back to base. If you're going to do the second paper also, then you must do the second paper after the first paper. And I'm not sure who would want to go and just do this paper and then miss out on this one. So there you go. All right. And then we'll add up your scores from both circles. If you get any points from both circles. And then again, we'll add in your 20 points for going back to base. Okay, guys, so if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section and I'll answer that about the over or under. Okay, guys, so you've seen how to set it up. Now you're going to have to find a bigger space now. I can't use my table anymore. I use my table for missions one and two, but it's getting bigger now. So I'm going to probably have to go to the floor, which you guys, I think, are doing anyway. But anyway, so go ahead and print the papers, get your mission, mission models uh, made, set up your papers on the floor. And again, I'm waiting for you guys to send me your videos. Just send your video clip to Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. And I'll put your video up with everybody else's. And I'll also be able to give your points because Mr. Hino is the ref and I've seen your, your robot complete the mission. Now, let me go ahead and show you some clips of mission number two. It was called Restock the Toilet Paper, and it was going to be Yannick from Germany, Connor. Actually, Yannick's team is EVB uh, Robotic and Connor and myself for a 120 points. Check out these missions. Hi there. This is Jesus Carreño from Mexico, and this is my run of mission one for, for Mr. Hino's Lego League. So here's my robot. Now over here is the Costco with toilet paper. I couldn't find any completely used roller paper. 
roll of toilet paper, sorry. <laughs> but this is almost completely used. So and it fits just right the claw of my robot. So I guess it's fine. Okay. And this is the proof 12 inches separation. Okay, 12 inches. So let's go. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> and that's it. Awesome, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and update our leaderboard here. So it is Connor Yannick or Team EVB from Germany. You guys are awesome. And Mr. Hino, we are basically tied for first place with 170 points. And then Jesus, thank you for your video. Jesus has 50 points as of the taping of this video. So I'm waiting for you guys to, you know, bring in more or show me more of your clips so I can get your points in. I've been watching you guys on that survey. Over Again, over half of you have an EV3 kit. So I'm wondering, where are the rest of you guys? I'm just trying to light a fire under you. But anyway, get those clips in and get those missions done, okay? Now, this one's going to be a lot tougher here. We're going farther away from base, so good luck to you guys, okay? All right, so continue to be safe. Continue to just be strong. Okay, got this. I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I'm out. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this.